There is a 1 megaton nuclear bomb sitting at the bottom of the Philippine Sea, and no one knows exactly where it is. In December 1965, the aircraft carrier USS Ticonderoga from the United States Navy left Subic Naval Base, which was once America's largest overseas military base in the world. The USS Ticonderoga sailed to the Philippine Sea where it participated in a naval exercise with Japan. During the exercise, United States Navy men aboard the Ticonderoga attempted to move one of the fighter aircraft aboard the carrier. The said aircraft was a Douglas A4E Skyhawk, which was being piloted by Lieutenant Douglas Webster. While being removed from the hangar bay, the Skyhawk rolled over the side of the carrier with Webster still in. The plane fell in the sea, along with its single payload of B-43 nuclear bomb. Webster of the plane and the bomb were never recovered. They currently rest for 9 meters at the bottom of the sea. The United States kept the nuclear bomb accident a secret to the world until it was forced to disclose this information in 1989. The accident was nicknamed Broken Arrow Incident of 1965. After the secret came out, Japan initiated a diplomatic inquiry into the incident. The carrier had been present in Japanese waters during the exercises in 1965, and Japan does not allow nuclear weapons in its territory. It was a particularly sensitive issue for the Japanese, considering America dropped two bombs on their country in World War II. The B-43 nuclear bomb that fell in the Philippine Sea was at least 43 times more powerful than the one dropped in Hiroshima in 1945, which remains to be the most serious nuclear weapon incident in history. To this day, the only details released by the United States Navy about the exact location of the accident is that occurred in the Philippine Sea, or the Pacific Ocean, 5 hour miles off any coast. No known underwater nuclear explosion in the Pacific was ever recorded.